Capri Holdings also topping analyst estimates. Its stock is lower today, though. A similar story for Ralph Lauren. Its stock is also trading lower despite that company beating expectations and delivering an upbeat growth outlook. Um, let's talk about Capri, or should I call it Capri? I don't know. It's Capri. Capri. I'm rolling with Capri. Capri is how you say the island, I suppose. And anyway, in any case. Never been. Um, so, uh, no, neither have I. <laughs> Um, so Michael Kors um, seeing a, a bit of a comeback here in terms of the company's numbers and in terms of its forecast. But Versace and Jimmy Choo, those forecasts not quite as robust. So maybe that's what's going on for Capri Holdings and Ralph Lauren also coming in ahead, below estimates with its forecasts. I mean, aren't people supposed to be revenge spending on all of the things that they would get to go back into some of these social kind of environments, the different events and everything. That's that's what the expectation was coming into this year, mm -hmm. that it would be a boon for some of the businesses, especially like a Capri. I think they want to do it if they can find it. I've been in the malls uh, a lot more recently, Bloomingdale's, Nordstrom. I've been surprised by how light the inventory is. I guess it's the shift, though, too, yeah. from goods to services, yeah. at least over this last quarter. All right, guys, we're going to put a pin in that because we have to go for a moment to President Biden, who is now signing the CHIPS Act that we have been talking so much about.